All right then, gang, so I want to talk about something that I think is really cool that comes with the new View CLI, and that is something called instant prototyping. So imagine now that you've thought of an idea for a component that you want to make with Vue.js, but you don't want to have to set up a full project to get started on this component, configure the project, etc. Well, now you don't have to, thanks to instant prototyping. So now what we can do is mock up a component anywhere on your computer and preview it straight away on a local development server. Now, in order to do this, we have to do a one-time installation of a separate view package called CLI Service Global. So what that does is basically take that CLI service we talked about a couple of tutorials back and it installs that globally on your computer. So the way we do this is by saying npm install hyphen g because we're going to install this globally then at view again forward slash cli hyphen service hyphen global so hit enter to install that first of all okay so now that's installed we can now prototype a component anywhere on our computer and we can do this because now that package has added the serve command and also the build command to the view cli and we can access that anywhere on the computer so before, when we had these projects, if we wanted to preview them in a local development server in the browser, then what we'd have to do is run that script npm run serve, right? Now, what if we had just a simple component over here outside of those projects? I'm just going to call this online.view. What if I wanted to preview this in the browser? Well, previously, I couldn't do that. But now what I can do is I can say view and then just say serve and then the component name which is online.view now i do have to be in the correct directory here view cli3 which is this folder and this is where the online.view component is but before i couldn't have said npm run serve here because there's no package.json file and there's no project set up to do that so now we've got that other cli service global package installed it's added this command to the view CLI and we can use this now anywhere on our computer just to serve up single components. So that's what instant prototyping is all about. So I can click enter now and this is going to serve this up on a local development server. So now I can control click over here to preview this in a browser and again this has gone to a different page so I'm just going to bring this over here and obviously there's nothing inside this component at the minute so it's not going to show anything in the browser but what we can do now is build a component and instantly prototype this component independently of whether it's in a project or not we can just develop single components and preview them in a browser that's really cool so what i'm going to do now is create a new component based on an idea i've had so the idea i've had for a component is to display the online status on a website of a staff member. Now, this status should show a green light when they're online and a red one when they're not online. So I'm gonna create a component which will do that now. So first of all, it's the same rules as creating a component inside a view application. We need a template, so let's create that first of all. And then inside the template, I'm gonna do a div first of all. This will have a class of online status. And then inside that, I'll do another div and this is ultimately going to have a viv directive attached to it. But for now, let's just give this a class of online. And this is the div which will show if a user or staff member is online. Then inside that, we'll have a span with a class of light. And this will be the little light, green light in this case. We'll style that up later on. Then I'm going to do a p tag. And inside that, I'll just say a staff member is online and available okay so now i'm going to copy this and paste it down below because we're going to do one for offline as well so offline like so and again we'll have a spam with a class of light only this time it's going to be red later on and here instead of this message we'll say a staff member is not currently online okay so that's our template and if we save this now it's going to recompile that and we can see that in a browser pretty awesome right now as well as the template i'm also going to do 
our script down here and we still export default like we would in a component over here in a project and inside here what we'll do is first of all create a data property and we return an object in here and we'll do an online property and I'm going to set this equal to true to begin with okay so this will be either true or false this piece of data dependent on whether a staff member is online or offline so that's that bit first of all now I only want to show this this div right here if this is true and I only want to show this if this is false so we can use v if to control this so I'm going to say v hyphen if and set this equal now to online so that's going to look at this property if it's true then it's going to show this div if it's not true it won't show this div we want to do the opposite for this one so we'll say v if and then we'll say not online okay so now only when this is false will this div show so one or the other is going to show if I save it now we should only see one of them but we don't so let's see what's wrong oh it's still not built so now if we have a look now only one of them shows and if we change this to false the other one should show so now it should say staff member is not currently online okay perfect all right then so let's just add some css to make this look a bit better so style tag and then inside here what i'm going to do is actually just paste some css and quickly go through this just so i don't have to bore you writing this out so first of all this online status this targets the overall div up here and what we're doing is giving this a background of light gray a border of a slightly darker gray we're displaying this as inline block and giving it a padding of 10 pixels just to give it some breathing room then the p tags which are these things over here so this and this we're saying displays inline block give it a font family of Arial, margin of zero and color it this kind of medium gray color next the light which is the span tags so both of these things have a class of light we're styling those now we're saying display these as inline block width of 10 pixels height of 10 pixels so they're just a small little square at the minute but then we give it a border radius of 50 percent and that turns it into a little circle then we give this a margin right of 10 pixels okay so that just gives it a bit of margin between the light and the p tag finally we take the online light and the offline light and we color these different colors so if they're online then it's going to be lime green if they're offline it's going to be crimson okay so let's save that and preview it in a browser again let's just wait till this compiles okay preview that and now we can see currently a red light a staff member is not currently online and if we change this now to true and save it now we should see a green light and a staff member is online and available so i've rapidly prototyped this component right here online which is not inside any kind of project it's just in an independent file a standalone view component and i've previewed that using instant prototyping okay so remember if you just want to preview a single component and work on a single component without having to set up a whole project then what we do is install that package first of all which was the cli service global we install that globally on our computer then we say view serve and then whatever the file name is okay and that my friends is instant prototyping